Hi students, welcome to session 4 of Garbage In, Garbage Out. In today's session, students we will study about recycling of some products which are very harmful when they are not degraded. So let us start with today's interesting session of recycling the waste products. Yes, recycling of plastics. Students, can you name a few things made up of plastic? Can you just recall few things? Yes, there are many things like combs, pens, bags, shoes, toys, buckets, bottles, etc, etc, etc. So there are many things which are made up of plastic. So basically use of plastics has become a major concern nowadays because they are non-biodegradable and they release harmful gases upon heating or burning and they can also contaminate foodstuffs. So if they are eaten by animals, plastics can choke them and kill them. Therefore one should reduce and reuse plastic items as far as possible. Because when plastic items are to be discarded, they should be recycled to make new things. So students, not all the plastics generated are recycled. Hence it is causing much damage to the life on the earth. Like at many places in India, plastics are totally banned due to its adverse effects on the environment. So we should take out some way, we should know some way to reduce and reuse these plastic items. So there are some of the ways to reduce, reuse and recycle plastics. Listen it very carefully. Like there are empty bottles which can be refilled for storage of water or any other liquid stuff. Think how many times you buy a bottle of water when you are out. So instead you can fill the used bottle and carry it whenever you are out. In this way you can reuse these bottles. Secondly, some disposable plastic containers and jars can be used to grow plants. Then paper, cotton and jute bags should be preferred over plastic bags because plastic bags are non-biodegradable wastes. And zip foils can be reused after cleaning thoroughly each time for storing foodstuffs. So we should keep these points in our mind to reduce, reuse and recycle plastics as much as possible. Now you will be very amazed to know about one more thing students. Gold from e-waste. Have you ever heard about it? Well if not then I would like to discuss it with you. Gold from e-waste. Students, Bangalore produces approximately 8,000 tons of e-waste in the form of discarded computers, televisions, electrical goods such as motors and transformers annually. And E. Parisara is an initiative started by an ex iitian which is working for safer recycling of e-waste for recycling of 
e-waste. So at e-Parisara's recycling facility, e-waste is recycled and various useful substances such as gold are extracted from the computers. So how amazing it is. And one more thing I would like to share with you is about Nature Works LLC. Now here, Nature Work, Nature Works LLC is a company that makes plastic from corn under the brand name INGEO and this bioplastic can be used for manufacturing a wide variety of articles such as packaging materials clothes furnishings bottles etc and this plastic is 100% biodegradable and under proper disposal conditions it can turn into compost within 80 days so this is something which you should keep in mind and you should know right so that was all about recycling of plastics now let us see the other topic recycling of other waste product or not a waste product recycling of a non biodegradable waste yes it is recycling of paper now here paper is not a non biodegradable waste it is biodegradable paper is made from trees and is essential for our survival on the earth so even if paper is biodegradable, depletion of trees at fast pace is a big concern. Paper can be degraded because we know that if something is biodegradable, that means that it can, be, it can undergo degradation by the action of tiny organisms which are found in soil and they are decomposers. But Paper is made from trees and to obtain paper we will cut down the trees. So depletion of trees is at a very fast pace is a big concern now. Therefore to save trees we must use paper judiciously. And there are some tips for recycling paper like we should always write on both sides of paper sheets then unused pages from old notebooks can be torn off and made into new notebook for doing rough work and other miscellaneous works. Then we can also reuse envelopes and covers by using stickers to write new addresses. We can also make fresh paper from used or old newspapers. Right? So by now we know how harmful garbage accumulation can be and by following the three R's concept that is reduce, reuse and recycle we can manage the garbage generated in our surroundings so that it is beneficial to the environment. There is one amazing thing which I would like to share it with you that if each child saves one sheet of paper a day then almost 40,000 trees are saved per year. And the, this step has been taken by some Delhi students. So we can also take some steps and we can also save paper. Sorry, we can also save trees by using the paper judiciously right so that was all about recycling and management of biodegradable and non biodegradable wastes I hope you liked this session and you learned that what can we do and how we can recycle and how can we save trees and other things too 
So do save trees and do recycle them. So students we will meet in the next session with some th something new, a new lesson. Till then enjoy, have a nice time and save trees. Thank you.